What is Darius Garland doing? When Maxi throws this to the top of the key, get underneath the three-point line, get your back to the baseline, see ball, see man, stay with Tyrese Maxi. Where's Darius Garland going right here? Why are you not staying with Maxi? Creates a two-on-one. Weird. It's just pathetic one-on-one -on -one defense. First of all, could Darius Garland try? Get on the palms of his feet in a defensive stance. Feet set, ready to slide my feet. Okay, no, we're not doing that. All right, fine. Evan Mobley's at the top of the key in help right here. So we want to get up. We want to force Maxi into that help. Do you know where your help is? Is there communication? Do you go over this? No, just get completely destroyed. Darius Garland right here. Your back is never to the ball, ever. Keep your back to the sidelines right here. So I'm in the gaps. I want to be about halfway. Stop. I'm halfway between the ball and the three-point line. I want to be able to stunt and recover. So that doesn't happen because J.B. Bickerstaff's terrible. Darius Garland's backs to the ball. Now Evan Mobley gambles and gets the dribble picked up. Could both of your hands be up? Paul Reed does not have his dribble alive. Why are your hands not up? What was that? This is what happens when you don't box out. Max Struess isn't seeing Kelly Oubre. Box out. Box out. Box out. Now Oubre gets in there for the deflection. Box out. This is coaching. This cannot happen. You have four Cavs players under the free throw line. First of all, Isaac Okoro should be gone at the shot right now. And then one of Dean Wade or Karis LeVert, both could, neither going for offensive rebounds, need to get back right at the shot. Like, you have four Cavs players under the free throw line. It'll happen every time. Bicker idiot. All right, so uh, you got to guard this ball screen. Uh, I would have Craig, I would ice the screen. Personally, I would ice the screen. Right? You keep DeAnthony Melton to the sidelines. There's no place for Obama to roll to. Karis LeVert can step up and backside help. What do the Cavs do? Nothing. Nothing. Look at this. Craig Porter screened. Nothing. Wide open three. This coaching. This is offensive. Darius Garland, what are you doing? You're watching Cameron Payne's at a cross screen. Get attached. You must jam Tobias Harris as he comes through so Karis LeVert can get on the other side. You knock him off his spot. You don't do that. This happens every time. Look at that. Poorly coached dribble. Nepotism. Poorly coached dribble. In transition, where's Max Struess going? Please stay up the line. You'll still be in help on the ball, but now you can get out to Cameron Payne. You're backpedaling in the middle of nowhere. Nice job. Bicker idiot. This is why when you go under a handoff, Evan Mobley's got to get up and jam the screener. You use your body and show your hands so Cameron Payne isn't pulling immediately off this so Darius Garland can actually go under and meet him on the other side. But you're not jamming the screener. So Cameron Payne's not going to even come on the other side. He's just going to pull right away. How is this not a hedge? The sideline's right there. There's no place for Paul Reed to roll to. Cameron Payne, the side, he's going to have to pick his dribble up instantly, and Jared Allen can recover back. Nope, let's run a pick and roll defense that gives up open threes. Georges Niang has 0.00% chance of guarding Tyrese Maxey in a straight up ISO situation. And then he's going to gamble, so now he really has no chance. Craig Porter, your back's to the ball. You got to you got to come over here and help. You get this dribble picked up. Now Jared Allen then can rotate to Buddy Heald in the corner, and then you would just come down on Mo Bamba. But your backs, you're not even seeing the ball. So, pfft. Same thing. You can see what a poorly coached disaster the Cavs are. Max Struess attached to Buddy Heald on the cross screen. Attached. Attached. Again, when K.J. Martin comes through, you can jam him and knock him off the spot, but I'm attached to Buddy Heald all time. You're not attached. So Heald's going to slip this screen and then be wide open for three. Look at the sheer amount of people that are open for the 76ers because the Cavs won't hedge, right? Get Tyrese Maxey out of the lane. There's no place for K.J. Martin to roll to. You run drop coverage right here. So K.J. Martin's rolls wide open right here. And then Kelly Oubre's wide open in the corner right here. You're actually, there's, everyone's open. A coaching thing. J.B. Bickerstaff's terrible. You get up and jam the screener every time on this handoff. So Darius Garland can comfortably go under and get on the other side. You don't do that. Look at how far under Darius Garland's got to go. Bang. Right to the rim for Maxi. Draw help. And there's no one to box out now. Darius Garland is icing this screen. Cool. Then Evan Mobley's got to get over. You got to keep Tyrese Maxi to the sidelines. Tobias, there's backside help for Tobias Harris's role. To icing a screen. Where's Evan Mobley? It does not mean Tyrese Maxey has a layup line. Wow. Darius Garland, away from the ball. 
feet set, defensive stance. And then I'm flying out to Buddy Heald on the pass. Your feet aren't set. You're not in a defensive stance. And why are you closing out on an angle? What was that? It's just not fair to the players. It's too bad the Cavs will win nothing again this year because you have this nepotistic idiot, J.B. Bickerstaff. Evan Mobley needs to get up and hedge this screen. Has to. Get Tyrese Maxey out of the lane. There's no place for Bamba to roll to. Max Struz is standing in backside help. Nope. Let's just give Tyrese Maxey the lane right here. This is going to collapse everyone right here. Karis LeVert's got to go to the corner, or that's a wide open corner three, and now you can't box out. Why is Georges Niang just randomly standing underneath the rim? You have help. Karis LeVert's in help. Struz is in help. Stay home. If, if Georges Niang wants to just stand underneath the rim like an idiot, then Jared Allen's got to go help the helper and take K.J. Martin Jr. And then Karis LeVert would have to come down and make sure the same thing doesn't happen with Mo Bamba. But what is this? You don't even do that. Karis LeVert does a great job guarding one-on-one -on -one here in an ISO situation. So now the dribble's picked up. Why is it the dribble is gone? This has happened multiple times. Get your hands up. That's it. Tobias Harris has no place to go. Your hands are, you got your hand on his back. And then you gamble on a swipe down. This is a special kind of idiocy in terms of coaching. The Cavs were icing the screen. Niang's got to stay underneath. Max Struess would come up and backside help if a pass gets made to Tobias Harris. Then, Evan, then you'd rotate out of it from there. And Niang would end up in the corner on Buddy Heald if that pass to Tobias Harris gets made. But, um, you can't just leave randomly. What is George's Niang doing? You're switching the screen. So could you get on the outside of Tobias Harris' shoulder right here? So you're ready to guard on the switch. What on God's green earth was that? Karis LeVert, this is poorly coached nonsense. Karis LeVert's going under. Could Evan Mobley please stay home? What? Karis LeVert's going under and Evan Mobley's guarding the ball too. So you're essentially screening Karis LeVert from being able to get in a defensive stance and guard right here. And now he's cooked. It's another issue. So Tyrese Maxey blows by Darius Garland. Jared Allen steps up to help. The dribble's picked up. Could Darius Garland just get underneath and get his hands up? Why again? He does not have his dribble alive. Why are both of your hands not up and you're letting... What? Maybe the Cavs will work on off-ball defense next season. Because this season, they're garbage. Look at J.B. Bickerstaff, nepotistic idiot. You should walk back to Cleveland. Darius Garland, feet set, defensive stance up the line. So I'm recovering onto Buddy Heald. You're not in a defensive stance. Look at your feet. Going towards the ball and the kickout. Game over.